<laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So it all started out on, um, I believe it was a, what day was it? Right. All right, guys. So I'm going to be talking about our pre-production today and yeah. the steps of what we did and how we did it. In pre-production, we started out by going to Charlie's house. That's where we did his pre-production. We uh, did it on Cubase. And obviously, we already had our song written in practice we've played it live a ton of times but we tend to see that when we go into the studio our songs actually change the words and like as we record them and then we end up like with the complete thing at the end i laid down my drums on a midi track that kind of took ages do you know how to play this yet no Charlie did his guitar and I did my bass and it was just the raw, like, just the skeleton of nerves. Alright guys, so I've come back to the documentary. We're here with Danny Beaumont. Now, now we're going to do Danny's bass part. Keep dabbing on those fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you get stage fright. <laughs> the click on well loud, man. So do you not want to click on? Yeah, I won't click on, but can it be a bit quiet? Ready then? Mm. <laughs> Do you like that? Selfie! Ugliest face competition. Do your ugliest face. I don't have one, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just do one. <laughs> Just do one. <laughs> Just do one. Um, I don't know what to do, innit? Like, what do Just I do? Just do anything, man. <laughs> okay, 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 looking at you like that. <laughs> you know like that guy, you know, you know that guy when when he, uh, when they're pretending to take the photo and then he and then he stands next to that thing and goes. Why is there no signal on that EQ? What? Why is there no signal on that EQ? Yeah, that's what I was just thinking, it's not worth. I could not have tatted If you smile, stop me in my tracks. Knee shaking, hearts are breaking. And I just need one shot and I'll be fine. Obviously, there's just three of us. We wanted to add synthesizers, we wanted to add more things to make the sound bigger. We started out with a lot of backing vocals because we noticed when we recorded why. The backing vocals in the bridge really changed up the song. We added like a backing vocals part to Nerves, which then later on became our re guitar part. <coughs> to experiment with guitar melodies, synth melodies, and it, in the end we were working on a melody for like 45 minutes to an hour. We sort of started to try and put in like alien ideas to the song that wasn't there before, so we got like really sick of trying to find synth sounds. Right, so we've finished my guitar, <coughs> we've finished Danny's bass, and now Harry's making up a little bit of a uh, keys oh, line. Um, it 
ended up getting quite lit. They'd got off as nut and tea and biscuits. We've got the custard crumbs out. We've got the cup of tea out. We're having a party. We just started adding like loads of stuff in it. Like a lot of it didn't make it into the actual song. We were in that sort of brain stage where it was just like, just we need to do something. It all sounded good at the time, but then when you take a second li listen to it, it just did sound too much. But obviously, right then in the moment, we kind of got a bit lost. So we just we decided to add a big a cappella bit at the beginning. So then I were like hitting my face to make sounds and Harry slapping his belly. We had Danny going like that. We had me clapping. We were all clapping, and this was like going up to one or two o'clock in the morning. We added like claps in there and clicks, which did. We do have claps samples in the actual song which did add to the track. We were trying to make it the best it could be but maybe trying a bit too hard. It was about two o'clock or something and Charlie were getting really scared that we were keeping his parents up. <laughs> and he were basically trying to shove us out of the house but like really subtly so he didn't upset us. So me and Danny had to leave. You know, I drove Danny home and finally got home and went to bed. We then sent that song to Ed with obviously all these different parts that we'd added into the song. And Ed really did like the track. Um, he did think what everyone else was thinking though, well what we were thinking, that there was a lot of stuff in there that doesn't need to be in there. Pretty sure, pretty sure I just went straight to bed to be honest with you. We, we then booked studio time, to get for studio time at a place called The Penthouse. Might watch a few YouTube videos. And uh, we started recording the single. It's still got a lot of the foundations that it originally had and what it originally had when we uh, recorded the pre-production, but obviously um, a lot of being changed as well into making it what it is. And um, I'm very happy with the outcome.